Hi, welcome to the August edition of Staying Healthy. August in Maine means getting out and enjoying the sunshine and the water. So in this month's edition, we're going to talk to you about drowning and how to know whether or not someone near you is drowning and the signs of drowning, because they're very surprising. We're also going to be enjoying some wonderful Asian wraps, which I'm so excited mm. about because they're mm. delicious. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about something that you probably need to do but don't want to do, and that's getting a colonoscopy. And then we're going to wrap it up with some really cool hip exercise hula hooping. Ooh. First, we're going to talk about drowning. This is Barbara Crowley. She is the um, Healthy Waldo County Coordinator for the um, for Waldo County. Um, yes, for the Healthy Maine Partnerships. <laughs> and we just learned some really interesting facts about drowning. It's amazing. When I think of drowning, I think of splashing and yelling. Help! And help! Exactly, but that's not it at all, it's is it? It's not, not. Forget about that dramatics. Absolutely forget about it. Right, so what, what are the signs that someone's drowning? quietness. You know, kids are out playing, they're making noise. As soon as they get quiet, be alert and go out and see what's happening and why. Someone that's drowning goes into an involuntary state of just trying to breathe. They cannot talk, they cannot yell, they can't even raise their arms. They go into an automatic trust trying to keep their head above water. So they may look like they are just staring at the surface of the water. And they can't yell because they can't breathe. Right. Which makes perfect sense. And I never really thought about it until I read that article. And you think about how you hear about people who they're swimming in a group. Right. And all of a sudden, someone is just gone. Or right. they say, I'm going to turn back. And the group keeps going on. And I always thought, well, why didn't they know? Why weren't they aware that that person that they were with was drowning? But now I understand it's because they aren't yelling. They're and not they yelling. Aren't splashing. They're not making any noise. It's completely involuntary. They have 30 to 60 seconds, basically, of just trying to keep their mouth above water to exhale and inhale. So if you're with somebody else, they get really quiet, find out what's going on. And the really shocking thing that I read was about half of the drownings of, for children mm. occur within 25 yards of the parents and 10% occur with the parents looking at the child. That's right, that's right, Andrea. It's just phenomenal. It's not the dramatics. If you see a child going quiet, move over to them and find out why. If you're on a boat and somebody goes overboard and they're just looking at the water, call to them and ask them if they're okay. If they don't respond, jump in. They are probably drowning. But there are, you know, there is what, I think they call it water distress. Right. Where there is the yelling and the splashing and how is that different from drowning? Well, they're not actually drowning at that point. There may be some fear involved or tired, whatever. They're at a point that they can help with their own rescue. Someone who is in the active state of drowning mm -hmm. usually has 30 to 60 seconds of trying to breathe and stay afloat. Wow. So we're going to have the entire article and all the information available on the website. I really recommend that you look it up and you, and you pay attention because it's something that I think a lot of people have no idea right. about. Drowning is a silent event. Thank you. Thank you.